Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's get into the truth about importing video. First things first, please watch this whole video because I'm going to cover every single place that importing video can trip you up or what you think is importing video. But first, let's break it down into its simplest form. Okay. So let's imagine that I want to write Jane a letter. So I have an envelope and I need to send it to Jane. First of all, I need to know Jane's address. And I take the address, write it on the envelope, stick it in the mail, and lo and behold, it gets to her location. Pretty simple. But what if Jane decides to move? And what if Jane decides to not tell anyone her new address? Well, she's gone, and now I have another letter to send her, but I can't because I don't have the address. I don't have a location to send it. So let's look at how this works with Premiere Pro. Well, here we have our timeline. We shot some video. We insert our card. There's a whole bunch of videos on the card, and we drag them from the card into the timeline and play them, and everything is wonderful. Well, the time comes to record more video, and you eject the card out of your computer and ah, no, now you get that warning that there is missing video, missing clips that are gone. Well, let's look at the right way to do this. You insert the card and you make a copy of those files onto your local computer hard drive. And from the hard drive, that's where you drag them into the timeline and you play them and everything works. Now, when you take the card out, you don't get a warning and everything is in place. Pretty simple, right? The difference is the location or the path or the address. You can think of this card as being the moving van and the clips are Jane and off they go. And where they are, we don't know. So I'm going to show you uh, both ways and how to check your files and what is importing. So let, let's look at all of that. Let's stick the card in the computer. And it will show up right there. I'll open that up and there are my clips. If I take these files, like I showed you, the wrong way, select them and drag them right into the project bin, well, they show up. Shouldn't be a problem here. I drag them to the timeline. They show up there and I play them and everything is good. That's because the path to these files is still available. The moving van hasn't left yet. The card is in my computer. But if we remove the card, as I showed you before, these are going to be offline. So that's not the right way to check. In fact, you can check if you go to the clips, go to any one of the clips, and you can do this either in the uh, project bin or even right on the timeline. You can reveal it in Explorer or in the Finder in the Mac. So when I reveal it, Sure enough, it's showing me that it's on this card. That's the location. So obviously, you can see if that card's not there, the clips aren't there. What you can do if you're looking at your project, there's a little flyout menu right here, and you can turn on metadata display options and type the word path. Path is an address. Think of it that way. The address writing to Jane and the path to the file are the same thing. Well, you can see there's no check mark. If I turn on the file path, click OK, you don't see it right away in here, but there is a scroll bar and you can scroll all the way over and oh, there it is. You can see these are on, in, on my computer on the drive E, which is that card. And the Adobe stock files that I have are on D in my footage folder. So th this path location exists for every single thing. Importing means you're never putting something in the project. The project is just a location. The files aren't in the, this is the number one area that new users get messed up. They truly believe they've imported their stuff into the program. Now I call this importing. I've imported the video into Premiere Pro. 
The better way to do this though is through the media browser. You don't have to, but it's a good habit. So let's get rid of all of this stuff because like I said, it's the wrong, oh, by the way, if we tap the tilde key or uh, maximize this display, you can maximize this display, you can actually drag this media path all the way over to the left. Keep dragging it and now it shows up here. So now when it's small, you can still see this. Unfortunately, this is a project setting. So this won't be the same the next time you create a project. It's, it's only uh, for this particular project, but you could do it each time. All right, so like I said, let's throw this away and do it the right way. And we'll use the media browser, but first we're going to copy these to another location. So let's go back to our card. So remember, this is my uh, camera card. I'm going to copy these to another location. So now I'll select these and I'm copying them to a new location. This alone is something you should be doing anyway. Counting on stuff just being in one place um, is wrong. You're just going to lose files and they'll be gone forever. If this is precious video, then you should at least back it up into your computer and probably two locations. There are many professionals who will actually back up in multiple locations just in case something really bad happens. So I'm going to close this card and eject the card. There it is. The moving van has now left. Bye-bye. See you, Jane. I don't care because I have the files locally. So there are my new files. They're copied locally and I don't have to worry about them. Now I'll go back to, the, to Premiere Pro and instead of just dragging them in, I'll use the media browser and find them. And again, tapping that tilde key makes things a lot easier to find. There are my clips. The added benefit here is we get hover scrub. I'll select all of these videos and I'll right click and choose import. Now they show up here. Now I drag them in here. Now they play back and everything is fine. One other thing I'm going to show you in just a second, but that right there should be standard operating procedure for yourself. Put in the card, copy to the folder, take out the card. That way there's no mistake. You're not accidentally doing anything with the card. You've got them on your computer. You now bring them into Premiere Pro. So let's look at another part of what people call importing, which isn't importing at all. And I'll clear this stuff out of the timeline and show you what I mean. Many users call this importing. You drag a clip into the timeline. And now you're seeing I'm having a problem. I can't drag this into the timeline. What's going on? Why isn't this coming into the timeline? Oh man. So people will go to great lengths, including reinstalling Premiere Pro, thinking it's a problem with the program. It's not. It's one little button that needs to be turned on. Want me to show it to you? It's right here. That guy right there. Now when we go to bring in this video, it shows up in the same with the audio. This is called source patching. Lots of users call this importing. It's not, it's just editing. It's just putting clips on the timeline and a lot of people are drag and drop users and they can accidentally turn off the source patching and the same can happen with the audio. If I turn that off and drag this clip in, I'm not going to get audio. So anytime you click on a clip here, you'll see how many tracks of audio or video. Some clips actually have multiple audio tracks and some clips have, um, just one or two, and some don't have any. If I open up this Adobe stock folder and click, you'll see there's no A1 to click on. See the difference here? A1 is gray, but it's still there. A1 is missing. Source patching is a way to tell you um, what is in a file. It's so easy to accidentally turn these off. Always make sure you've got source patching turned on before you bring in that video. The two things that will trip people up are source patching 
and taking the card out without copying the video. So that's a better understanding of what exactly importing is. The only importing I did was when I imported from my local hard drive into Premiere Pro. Putting them in the timeline is editing. Copying them from the card to my computer is copying the files or ingesting. Some people call it ingesting. So there you go. I think if you follow these guidelines, you're not going to lose any clips and you're not going to be frustrated because you can't drag certain clips into the timeline. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. And if you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video and on the front of the channel. You can also go to videoreveal.com and go to the YouTube section on my website. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and I'm here to make sure you understand exactly what importing and not importing and ingesting and copying, what they are and how they affect you when you're video editing.